today we're going to make some drawstring bags and I've recently really cracked my method of making them. <laughs> so these drawstring bags have no raw edges anywhere inside them. You don't need an overlocker or anything fancy. This is the medium sized drawstring bag in the pattern and there's one a bit smaller and then there's one that's a lot bigger. Um, so they're really good ideas for present bags if you don't want to use a lot of wrapping paper this year you could reuse your bags again and again when you gift someone something um, or they can reuse it um, and they're really great things for travel so I'm really happy with the method of how I made these and I hope you guys enjoy watching how they're made. I am selling some of these bags that I've made on my website I'm selling them in packs of three a small, medium and large drawstring bags are just always so handy, you can never have enough in my books. So I'm going to get on and show you how I made them. We're going to start by printing out the pattern and this is going to be printed at 100% scale on A4 or US letter size paper. I then printed out the instruction booklet, you don't have to print this, you can just follow along on your computer or on your phone. So now that you have your pattern printed out, we have to arrange it and stick it all together. So this pattern comes as two rows of nine, so you're going to have to trim some edges and match up the registration marks. I like to use a glue stick to stick the pages together and then I will go in at the end with some clear sellotape. Then just go ahead and cut out all three pattern pieces. There's three different sizes in this pattern, but I'm going to show you how to make the medium bag today. So you're going to want to cut out two pieces with the grain, making sure to take note of the side notches at the top. With a pencil or tailor's chalk, mark two centimeters in from the edge on both sides. We're going to stitch down this line, making sure to leave a gap in between the notches. Take your bag over to the ironing board and we're going to press that seam open. Next you'll need to fold under the raw edges and press them down. Now we're going to stitch down the fold that we just created on both sides and then repeat it on the other side. Now we're going to work on the top channel seam, so we're going to fold it down by one centimetre and press it flat. Once you've pressed down one centimetre all the way around, we're going to fold it down a further 4.5 centimetres or as far down as the holes in the side seams. It should just reach over the holes and then we're going to press that flat. Stitch the fold down all the way around the top and then once we've done that we're going to mark a parallel line to the previous stitch line about one centimetre above. You could also use the guidelines on your sewing machine if you don't want to draw a parallel line. Turn the bag through so that the good sides are facing out and press the side seams flat. Stitch across the bottom with a 0.5 centimetre seam allowance. Then turn the bag inside out and press the bottom flat. Then we're going to stitch across this with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance and that will give you a nice French seam at the bottom. This next bit is optional but I think it adds a really nice boxy look to the bags. So you're going to want to pinch the corners so that the side seams match up with the bottom seam. Measure three centimetres down the seam and then draw a right angle across. But you can just leave the bag flat if you don't want the boxy sides. Then turn the bag back through the right way round and give it a good press. Time to add the drawstring ties. You're going to thread one of your drawstring ties through the hole at the side all the way around and then tie the ends in a knot then you're going to want to repeat this to the other side. I'm using a braided cotton, but you could make your own ties or use whatever really, it's completely up to you. All that's left to do is test that the drawstring is working and you are done. 
the instructions are all the same for each different size so hopefully it will be nice and clear on how to make them and there we go now you have your own drawstring bags I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out my other winter craft ideas in this little series and I will see you all very soon.